Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy, and if you don't know me, I have a passion for upcycling clothing and I teach sewing on YouTube. I just want to start off by thanking each and every one of you. Without all of your love and support, all of this wouldn't have been possible. I was finally able to move out of that like depressing box of a room that had no windows and into this beautiful studio apartment. I used to get like a headache every day in that room and I think it was the lack of vitamin D. Since I've been here, I've had zero headaches and I just feel so much better having a lot more space to work in. I don't feel very claustrophobic as I did in that room. This is what you get for $1,500 in New York City. I moved to Harlem. That is where I found the best thing for my buck. And I actually got one month free. My net rent is like $1,370 something, I think. It was an amazing price for the amount of square feet. At the start of my apartment hunting, I checked out a lot of places in New Yorkville just because that's where a lot of studios were available. And it was like Upper East Side, like quiet neighborhood, which is what I was looking for. I ended up applying for one place in New York and I got denied and I was very sad but I was like okay it's not meant to be. The apartment I saw right after getting denied was this one and I completely fell in love as you can see. Um, it's just so perfect. If you're looking to move to New York um, I definitely recommend like looking at a few places. When you find the one you have to like submit your application within like 24 hours because I guarantee it's gonna be gone. I reupholstered my chair and my couch so I have a little time lapse at the end of the video. If you guys are interested in watching me upcycle those two furniture pieces, so let's get right into the tour of my studio apartment. That's my front door, so when you uh, when you actually open this door, it kind of hits this wall, if you can see like this indent. Um, so that's as far as the door opens, which was kind of funny trying to get that desk in because um, it does not disassemble. So my movers had to like remove the door before actually getting that desk in, which was like a whole nother process, but um, they were able to take the door off and get that desk in. Um, it's a very large desk. That's the desk I had in my old bedroom. I have the hallway and this is my bathroom. The door kind of like hits this, but it's like not the end of the world. Um, so I have my bathrobe hanging behind the door and just, I added another hook to hang my other towel. And this is just the shower. I like to hang eucalyptus because the scent's really nice. This bathroom actually has like a lot of storage, which was great. So I have like my makeup and my hair stuff and I have like lotions and perfume and the mirror, which is really nice. Pretty much get it, it's a bathroom. So um, not much there. And um, so the closet. I just have suitcases and like other storage and like some duffels and I just have my backpack here and like some of my clothes. I don't really have that much clothes in general, but um, and I have some like hardware and paint stuff and then like my um, garments I made at FIT and like the nice ones that are hanging back there also. This closet was nice to store stuff and up here um, is where I have just like my boxes for my sewing machines and I have some like other tools and stuff. There's also like a light. Here's like the electric box, which I don't think I will ever need to open. So I think I wanna hang like some sort of artwork in front of it because I kind of don't like how it looks. Next to the door, I place my keys and this is like the intercom when somebody rings my door, I can like let them in. So that's how it works because I have a locked door. I don't have a doorman, which I did in my previous place. This is my kitchen. I'm so happy I added these shelves because I think it just adds a lot more to the kitchen itself. And I love that I have like the counter bar because it makes it easier when I cook. I, as you can see, there's like not any space near the stove. So it's really convenient when I meal prep to just like meal prep on this bar as well as eat. I picked up these stools from a Facebook marketplace and they were only $40. I meal prep at the beginning of the week so I never need this much counter space. So this is good for just eating throughout the week. Um, so my dish rack usually stays out. Got it on Amazon so I can link that. And I love these glass containers I got on Amazon. So I just have like my oatmeal, my pasta and my protein powder and in these two i have like lentils and chia seeds and then the little glass jars i got those on facebook marketplace for only ten dollars i have like more of them but i only have like these these three teas right now and i just have like my spices on the middle one 
and I bought a basil plant from Trader Joe's. Um, this is my piece, Lily, which I got from Facebook Marketplace. She just gave it to me, um, which was really sweet of her. She also gave me another plant, which I'll show you guys. I just have my blender and I have like my broom sweeper and this is my fridge. It actually holds a lot. Um, it's like very empty right now because like at the end of the week of my meal prep, there's really not much left. As you can see, I only have like two uh, glass containers. Um, my microwave is on top of my fridge. I got this basket from Housing Works and I just store my like peanut butter, cacao powder, and like almonds and like some snacks in there. I always get questions about this. Um, this is just my uh, really fancy water filter. Very big on drinking filtered water. And I just have bowls, plates, and like glassware. All of my glassware, well, like, honestly, like all of my kitchen stuff, I got off Facebook Marketplace. We uh, gave it to me for a great deal. And I also got these magnets from her. Other kitchen stuff, so like these wooden spoons, these giant coasters for like hot stuff um and like just like clips so just like basic kitchen stuff i just got a lot of stuff from her i love the amount of storage i have like on this island um so i just have like my silverware um and i have uh some pots and pans and i just have like recycling under the sink and like cleaning stuff this trash can was like the perfect size it's not too big and it's not too small it just fits perfectly. That's my kitchen. It's really small and sweet. We can move on to the living space, which is right next to the kitchen. So um, my rug is probably one of my favorite pieces in the studio. Um, so actually it was just like this upholstery fabric I found at Fab Scrap, so the nonprofit organization that saved dead stock fabric from the landfill. And it's like a very heavy weight like upholstery. Um, uh, when I first saw it, I was just like, it's gonna make a perfect rug for my space. And since it's just like fabric, I bought like a rug non-slip mat to put underneath it. I didn't sew any of this rug. I just kind of like left this frayed salvage because I thought it looked really nice. I'm really happy with it. And I didn't even like cut anything. I just folded it under because it was a little too big. The size is like perfect. I love how the couch turned out after upholstering it. I also got that sage fabric from Fab Scrab and I was so lucky to find like the exact shade to match this rug and it's just so perfect. I feel like I need a small coffee table to just bring this whole living area together. And right across the couch, you have the TV. I pretty much got everything secondhand on Facebook Marketplace and it's just a great place to buy used items. Um, so my TV was only $25, it's a Roku TV. I also picked up the turntable from Facebook Marketplace and it was only $15. It's a music trend turntable, the built-in speakers are very loud so um, I didn't have to buy like any external speakers for this. I also got the 9cube storage shelf on Facebook Marketplace. I wanted something to like divide the living space from the bedroom. I have these like hand woven baskets. I got them off Amazon and they're great for storing my clothes. I'm usually in just like comfortable clothes when I'm working and I go to the gym every morning so I only have like gym clothes. I don't really have much I go to clothing. the gym every morning so I only have like gym clothes. I don't really have much clothing. This like wooded bookshelf I also got on Facebook Marketplace and it was only $20. I love how it ended up matching the woven baskets it just like brings it all together and I also have like another uh, woven basket here I use it to hold my laundry on this shelf I have a ZZ plant which I bought from Facebook marketplace you're just gonna hear me say Facebook marketplace throughout this whole video so if you're looking to buy a plant just get a ZZ plant they're very low maintenance you only need to water them once like every two weeks below it I just have my little tea set which I got at housing work I got the humidifier from the girl who gave me all of my glassware and just whole bunch of stuff um so she just threw this in and it just changes color so it's really nice at night when i have like the humidifier going with like essential oils and down here i just have like my portfolio from fit at the bottom of this shelf um, from my living area we move into my workspace so i have my dress form and my old desk here i just use it for cutting now it's it's like only for cutting fabric and packaging so i have like my packaging stuff here and i store my sewing patterns in that basket so it's the same basket set it comes in a set of five 
and I store them up there. And I have the philodendron in his terracotta pot, which is very nice. It like, it really pops against this white. And I just have like my packaging stuff, so my dymo and tape and etc. And I just have my tripod clipped to this shelf. And this is just like the spot to film my cutting and you know, my tutorial. Under the desk, I have like another like cube storage and I just have like my fabric bags and like notions and just more packaging stuff. My clothing rack was only $30. I got it off Facebook Marketplace. It's a very vintage looking one. I love like the circle detail at the top of it. And I just have my shoes. Yes, that is all of the shoes I own. So anything I make is specifically on this rack. And I have like my oak tag slippers on here as well. Beautiful hanging pothos. Um, I really like how it looks on the clothing rack. And I also just have another pothos hanging. I just, I bought these like hooks on Amazon and they're really good to just like screw into your wall and like hang anything from. I loved this like arc detail in between the studio space. Back here, I have my radiator and my studio does not have central AC, so I had to buy an AC unit, but I found one on Facebook Marketplace and this was only $100 and it's 10,000 BTU, which was perfect for my studio because I think 10,000 BTU is for like 400 and 50 square feet. Does a great job of cooling down my studio, which is what I need since I spend the majority of my time in here. I have my pegboard and I also got these baskets and like hooks off Amazon. I have my logo right above my pegboard. One of my old professors from high school, he has a vinyl cutter so he made a decal of my logo in rose gold and I just like mounted it on a foam board because I wanted to keep it. I didn't want to mount it on the wall and like not have it again. I wanted just to like have it forever. I have my overlock machine and I have my Juki machine. This is just the cover, so I usually keep the cover on when I'm not sewing. And this is the chair. It's all reupholstered and it's the same fabric as my couch, so everything just goes really well together. I got the chair itself from Facebook Marketplace for $25. It's very comfortable. I needed something that was gonna be really good for my back. I just have a nightstand right under this desk desk itself I got from Amazon and it's actually an L desk but I miscalculated the amount of space I had because this radiator is in the way but it is fine. I just like placed it right under my window and it fits great with like my sewing machine extend table. Um, so it's there for now. This is just my stepping stool because I am very short and I still need to reach um, my plans. And from my workstation, we have the bedroom. I'm very happy with my layout. Um, I just put like my bed in like the corner that is most away from the windows, which was here. I did not want my bed right next to the kitchen. I just, that just wouldn't have worked for me. So I just have it against this wall. It's probably like the most quiet area, even though like my windows right across from it. it everything's still kind of loud um, when you're facing a busy street, but it works. Um, usually if I have the AC going, I can't really hear much. It drowns out the noise. I picked up this gold vintage mirror from Goodwill and I think it was only like $15, but it has like this really nice rose trim around it. I do want to get some like decorative pillows because right now I think my bedroom is kind of bland and maybe like a throw blanket of some sort. This full length mirror I picked up from Facebook Marketplace. I had a white one, but it was not a standing mirror. It was just a regular mirror and it fell and it broke and it shattered. I picked up an actual standing mirror and I love how this looks. The only downside to like picking up used furniture in New York City is that you have to carry it down the subway if you do not have a car or you have to just walk the thing. Um, I ended up like walking and taking the subway for most of this furniture. I took the subway for this shelf, but for this one, I had like a shopping cart. This disassembled, which was nice, but I like rolled it around the city for like 40 minutes to get it back to my old place and my movers moved it here. This clothing rack was very heavy. It disassembled, but it was pretty heavy. To, um, this went up and down the subway stairs as well as the mirror. I did the most for this AC unit. It weighs like 75 pounds and keep in mind, I only weigh about like 110 pounds. So there's no way I could like physically carry this. I rented a hand truck from Home Depot and I rolled it 
to my apartment. 40 minutes, I was rolling it on a hand truck, which wasn't too difficult. I had it in a box and my movers like moved my AC up, but I really did the most for it. That was like a whole adventure with like all of my furniture. I think I did a really good job on reupholstering for the first time. So I linked some more in-depth tutorials from other YouTubers. I think they did a great job of explaining how to take apart your furniture. You're pretty much just disassembling a puzzle and putting it back together. I hope you guys enjoyed this studio apartment and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.